Life's journey from stardust to civilization, arising amidst cosmic abundance and ancient pathways. Any billion? Well, surely life must have arisen on, on some of those. The answer is probably yes, I suspect. I suspect we'll, we'll, we may find life on Mars in the next 10 years, but it'll be micro. So the question then becomes, well, how likely is it for simple life, if it arises, to make its way into a civilization? And that's where the biologists come and, and kind of calm the astronomers down and say, well, you might think there are lots of places for life, we would agree. But on Earth, it took 3.8 billion years to go from the origin of life to a civilization which is about a third of the age of the universe, give or take. So you had to have an unbroken, stable line of life that, 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 um, that evolves in the, in the right way, as it were. To, so it, first of all, it gets complex. I mean, it took, there's a thing called the Cambrian explosion in the history of life on Earth, which was about 550 million years ago or so, which sounds like a long time. But for three billion years before that, there was nothing that we would call complex. Single-celled organisms doing some clever stuff like photosynthesis, but not much. And then it suddenly you get a big ju jump in the oxygen content of the atmosphere on Earth, which was to do with photosynthesis and some geology in play with it. That's how the oxygen gets into the atmosphere. And then you get a big jump and you get complex life emerging. And then pretty quickly, you know, half a billion years or so, you go from complex things to a civilization.